KVK is here. So let's take a look at what my account looks like at the beginning of KVK, and then we'll be doing another video at the end of KVK to see exactly how we've done. Let's get into it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I hope everyone is doing awesome today. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at what my account, Shappy Gaming, looks like going into this Season of Conquest KVK against not one, not two, but three Imperiums. And I am so excited to kind of see how this is all gonna shake out. To give you guys a little bit of a reference of what the teams are, uh, it's 1079 and 1647 as the two Imperiums versus 1307, 1664, and 1188. So it's going to be an adventure. If you guys haven't already, do hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner, because I'm going to be streaming this KVK. I'm going to be making videos on this KVK. It's going to be insane. So let's take a little bit of a look at what my account looks like today. Uh, because I'm kind of excited to see how everything changes as we get further on. So starting with power, I'm starting KVK at about 81.2 uh, million power, which is pretty good. My highest power is 84 million, so I'm, I'm fairly up there right now. Uh, and my goal for this KVK is to really kind of uh, lose a fair bit of power, but also up my kills. My issue that I chronically have with KVK is I end up killing all of my troops before I get my kill count up. And so what happens is I get a bunch of deads, but not terribly many kills because I'm not healing. So along those same lines, here's my kill points at the beginning of KVK. Let's take a quick look at that. Yes, I know I have a few too many T1. I already got roasted in Plato series, Farmer versus Fighter, so here we are. And my main goal is to really get these T4 and T5 kills up, uh, this KVK. And considering that it's a six Imperium KVK, and, and the or five Imperium KVK, in theory, we should be able to do it. So, so I'm pretty excited. And uh, I think my kill point target for this KVK will probably be 2.5 uh, billion at a minimum. I think that's that's fairly reasonable. I think it would make sense. And then it also gets me along the lines of the 30 million kill target for KVK, which I should be able to do. Uh, my big concern up there is going to be resources. So uh, taking a look at my resources, I've got 2 billion food, 1.3 billion wood, 82 million uh, or 820 million stone, and 1.1 billion gold. So I'm a little light on resources going into KVK. I've got a bunch of my boxes. Uh, which I'm sure I'll be digging into. And uh, here's a little preview of what those look like today. As you can see, I've, I've got a fair bit. I, I plugged it into Fleisch's uh, calculator and I should be all right. Uh, the main concerns here are gonna be gold and food, but I've got my four farms working overtime going into this KVK, so we should be all right. Taking a look at my troop power, we've got 26,261,928. And uh, my dead count, 15,375,901. I expect this to go up. Uh, typically I end up between, somewhere between one and a half and two million dead every KVK. I don't expect this one to be any different. Uh, the question is going to be, can I get my kill count up before I do that? And that's gonna be the fun. Uh, resources gathered, you can see kind of sucks. I got uh, 12 billion uh, resources gathered there, which is not, really the best. I got a fair fair bit of Alliance helps and some decent resource assistance. So we're shaking up to be in a fairly good position. Uh, so that's, that's not bad. Let's take a look at my speed ups. And yes, I know guys, I have a hoarding problem. Okay, it, it, I accept it. So here is what the speed ups are looking like. I have a bunch of speed ups. I plugged this into the calculator recently. And I think it said I had something like 1,500 days of speed up, so like multiple years. And I expect that to change uh, this KVK because I don't have a lot of resources, but I do expect that I'm going to be healing a bunch, which is why my Civ is still France. I thought about changing it, but it just doesn't make sense. I'm going to be healing so much. It, it, it's unreasonable. So I expect this to change a lot. I think this is gonna be where a lot of the damage is done. These healing speed ups will be gone in the first fight. These training speed ups should should evaporate fairly quickly. So I'm 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 in a good spot. Now for my commanders, what do we got? We have Gilgamesh, who uh I will be fielding. His kills kind of suck, but uh 
Right now he's at 4,170,000 kills and uh, 119. And he'll be fielded with Nebu. So let's take a look at Nebu real quick. Nebu is also at just about 4 million kills, uh, which is not... Not too bad, not too great. I'd like to see that change a little bit. My issue is my Gilgamesh Nebu is constantly targeted. So we'll have to see how that shakes out. So that's not bad. And uh, for my cavalry marches, I'm looking at Nevsky Jones. So we've got Nevsky, who again, really doesn't have that many kills. 3,484,721. Uh, and my Joan should be nice and fresh. I don't think she's seen any combat just yet. Yeah, she hasn't seen any combat. So I'm excited to see how Nevsky Joan really, really does. For Attila, he is my carry. He's always carried me 54,932,000. Uh, I don't want to use him that much, this KBK. My hope is that I'm able to use Nevsky Joan and Saladin William a little bit more. And we'll be taking a look at how Saladin is shaken out. Uh, but just in the spirit of the fact that I may end up using Attila Takeda at some point, here's Takeda, 57 million. I think he's my my... Highest killing commander here, which is, you know, not not bad. So here's Takeda. Uh, and as for Saladin, I think he's, yeah, 7,444,555. And you may be wondering, Shappy, why are you getting rid of Attila Takeda in favor of Saladin um, William? And there are a couple of reasons for that. Saladin is fairly tanky on the field, but he also has this really nice healing effect debuff. So if I'm swarming a march, that's going to be super helpful. And the other reason why I want to do it is because William, here's his, his kills, 1.4 million. Uh, William has a bunch of really great skills that work when you're in the field and when you're swarming a target. And so that's namely why I want to use these two, because they're going to give my five march setup a little bit more oomph and, uh, and hopefully deal some more damage. But if we do lose the field, we may see Attila coming out just to, just to give some love and affection to all those that, that might want to swarm him. So that's, uh, that's William, that's Saladin. Let's take a look at the infantry setup and see what we're looking at. So here's my Guan, 6,166,000. Yeah, really not all that, uh, all that crazy. I don't have a lot of kills behind Guan. I am probably going to be running uh, Guan Alex. So there's Guan and let's pull up Alex here. Uh, here you go, 13,152,000. I'll probably be running those two, and then I'll be running Scipio Flavius. Granted, if I run out of infantry, it's going to be just Guan Scipio. But here's my Scipio, 1,460,000 kills. Uh, I'm really excited to see how everything changes this KVK. I think we're going to see those numbers go up. And uh, I will point out, I will be investing on tech based upon donations, much like everyone else. I saw Plato got like $1,500. I don't expect that that's going to happen here. But if you do want to support the channel, be sure to hit that super thanks and uh, your investments will be going directly into my KVK tech. So I do appreciate all of you guys and the love and support that you offer. Um, now, let's take a look at Flavius, see how he's looking. Where is he hiding down here? Did I scroll by him? There he is. Flavius is over here. He's got about 1.5 million kills as well. I think overall, I'm probably going to try and put, you know, a couple million on each of these commanders. And uh, something that I really, really want to do this KVK, and we'll have to, we'll have to measure me for this, is start chaining more. I never chain. Everyone says, Shappy, you got to do it. Use your AP wisely. So I'm starting to do it this KVK. So here's my barbarian kills on my Richard. I'm going to be chaining with Richard Theo. So it should be good to, to measure that. My Theo's max, she's got no love or usage. So it should be good to see how this all shakes out. But I'm, I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a good KVK. And uh, I think that's about it. We got Gilgamesh Nemu, uh, Scipio Flav, Guan Alex, Saladin William, Attila Takeda, Nevsky Jones. So that's, uh, that's what we're working with this KVK. If you're as excited as I am, again, be sure to hit that subscribe button right there, bottom right-hand corner, and give me your bets in the comment section below. Do you think that I will hit my kill target here of two and a half million kill, or two and a half billion kill points and 17 million dead? I think that I should be able to do it, but, uh, but we'll have to see. Now, last but not least, let's take a look at what we got in the way of troops. We have 898,000 infantry. I expect to kill pretty much all of them. 829,000 cavalry and 660,000 archers. Again, I only run the one archer march, so that's that makes sense. And uh, we've got a bunch of T3 and T4 here. And the reason for that is if you upgrade T3 to T5 and then you train one set of 2,000 T4, uh, it's actually the cheapest way to 
to beat those uh, Bastion training quests. So these will be upgraded T5 and promptly killed short <laughs> shortly thereafter. So, uh, so we're in a fairly good spot. I'm pumped for this KVK. I think it's going to be a good one. And uh, hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can hit those targets. So here's where we are in Crusader achievements. I think that uh, we should be able to clear most of them. As you can see, no kills thus far, but I will be measuring this. And you guys can check in at the end of the KVK. I will be saying exactly where we ended up and if we met our goals. Thank you. I hope that you've all enjoyed. Shappy out.